you ever see a fish at a fish store and you really liked it, but you didn't end up buying it. And then for a few days, you're kind of thinking about it and you wish you'd bought it. And uh, let's go back and get that fish. <laughs> getting. In my um, last live stream, I talked about thinking back and remembering that first fish that you saw that really sold you and, and got you excited about wanting to keep fish. And for me, that was in a very small aquarium that was brought home by my parents. And it had in it neon tetras, which I have in my 55 gallon tank already, a small school of five of them and rasboras so uh, i can say that i have f fully fully reverted back to my youth to the uh, that pleasure moment of seeing some fish in that little glass cage and getting uh, very very excited i've gone all the way back and now have the uh, the uh, fish of my youth you can see here uh, ras rasboras as you can see, they're they're very cute. They will put put on a little more size than what you see here, and I'm hoping all five of them uh, make it and and do well. And then after about a month of quarantine, I'll go ahead and put them in with the neon tetras. So, what do you think? Are you still keeping the uh, the kinds of fish that that? that got you to fall in love with the hobby? Do you, do you have those currently? Or have you moved on to other types of fish? I'd be curious to find out. Uh, let me know below in the comments, and we'll talk about this and a whole lot more on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit that uh, bell and, and uh, notification bell and subscribe. And that way YouTube knows something is good, good is going on and they'll suggest us to other fish keepers. And to support the channel further, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang and uh, join the, uh, the Patreon monthly support group. Uh, details are in the description. Thank you, my friend. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. <music>